Hey, what's going on you guys? This is Hyperion Blue GT and this time it's time for round 5 on the Manufactured Series. So looks like we're about to take on the Sardigna Wheel Track Reverse for 9 laps and then we'll be using Group 4 cars for today. So this is going to be a one event challenging race and then we make sure that this is going to be able to get started for a good balance of performance. So if anything is possible that this is going to be one challenging ways to do a little downhill and uphill tactics that this is going to be very challenging that we might be very careful so this is going to be very challenging for us so luckily that this is differently different like a group three race on the daily race so this is going to get pretty harder and better so it always gets pretty hard so we might be able to be prepare ourselves for one tough obstacle course for this race so We'll have to make sure that this is going to be very good clean race that this is going to be able to take. So now it looks like this is going to be able to have an 8 minutes and 45 second time and then this is going to be able to get ready. So we're at the Corvette season in group 4 on the track and then this is going to be able to take plenty more turns that this is going to be able to take for it. So it will might go better if this is going to be very possible that this will might have a very good way to be able to take the hot lap. All right, here we go. Take that hot lap to begin, and then this time, this is going to be very challenging that this will might be prepared for. But it gets a little bit possible that we just want to be very careful on the first turn in reverse. So that could be the hard part that we just really want to be very careful. So let's just going to go again on the attempt two. So this is going to be able to be ready for one good chance and this is going to get better so just gonna make sure whenever you see the double cone just take the breaking point that this will might give it a go so just want to make sure that this is going to be a one good check to see if this is definitely clear safe or not so this is going to be very challenging that this is going to be able to do clear ways to get so this will might comes perfectly that this will might go better Okay, let's just gonna have to take that turn and now this is gonna be able to do the downhill tactics that this is gonna be coming in. So it gets pretty tougher that this is very cautious that this is gonna be able to take a lot of more turns. So sand traps is definitely in use that this is gonna be able to avoid. So it takes a lot of obstacles that we might need to avoid. And then going on to the upper hill turn and this is going to be very harder to get. So this is going to be very possible ways that this is definitely might be safer or a risk race that this is going to be able to take plenty more apex turns that this is going to be able to coming in for. But it's all about the terrain of racing that this is going to be able to have to take on the single tarmac track that this is going to be able to coming in. Now, looks like this is going to be we have to take better turns to go in and then this is going to be very better and interesting that this is going to be we have to take plenty more lap times to get and the harder will might have to be able to take everything to go for. It takes overcome moments that we need to be able to take this track to perform a master that's experienced that this is going to be able to do, to do a lot of skills. So this is going to be able to do a little bit careful ways that we need to be able to do possible ways to be able to get everything going. Okay, this is going to be very excellent. Have that double cone to be seen and then take that turn very wisely and then this is all about the sand performance that this is going to be able to do it just safer and go. Very good that this is definitely almost similar like the forward version of the Barcelona. But it gets pretty harder that this is going to be able to take. So this is going to be able to take plenty more inside turns that this is going to be very advanced to be able to go hard and go challenging that this is going to be able to learn to overcome. All right, there you go. Going on the 2.5 distance that this is going to be coming in. So it's going to be able to do better that this will might have a lot of more speed that this is going to be able to take. 
Okay, let's make it almost to have a three second gap. And this is definitely might be worked perfectly that this is gonna be able to take. All right, looks like a minute and 31 seconds. So that wasn't so bad. This is gonna be very harder that this is gonna be able to learn to have the brace part on the first turn. This could be the hardest part that this is definitely might be able to stay on. And also the part of the downhill turn on reverse, that could be pretty tricky. So we might be able to be very careful to avoid the collision. Otherwise, you'll get end up on the sand trap to be struck. Now, looks like this is going to be able to coming in and then let's take a little bit distance from behind and now this is going to be able to come better that this one might go on the uphill that this is going to be very tougher that we might be able to go in. Okay, here we go. This is going to get better and easier like a roller coaster that this is going to be able to have to take plenty of inside turns to get the, the better it should be able to take. That will might have any stability precision skills that this one might need to take. Okay, just going twice and going better and going hard and then this should be able to do just to go. So this is gonna be able to have to take a, 30, a minute and 30 seconds time that this is gonna be able to work harder to get. All right, there you go. This one might make it to the top position if anything goes better. So maybe this is going to be about to take a minute and 29 seconds. That could be the hardest goal that we should ever be prepared for. So luckily that this is definitely might be able to do a better race that this is going to be about to take the downhill and over advanced obstacle course that this is going to be pretty tougher that we should probably able to be prepared for. So this is going to be very intense. So we might be able to do a lot of corners that this is going to be able to take anything to avoid the collisions. Okay, looks like going in for another one second gap that this is going to be able to take the chance to go again. That could be pretty easy that this is going to be able to take. Okay, point eight. That might be able to take much decimal distance amount that this is going to be able to keep coming in for but also just make sure get a good clean turn to avoid the stand that could be quite possible that this is definitely a slow down effect that this is definitely might come okay that should do it now just going to be able to take a little bit more distance time that this is going to be able to keep up all right, same time, better improved record that this is going to be able to get. But luckily, this is going to be the hardest part on the first turn on reverse. So that should be quite very, very advanced tricky that this is going to be able to take. Okay, keep coming down now. This is going to be able to do better ways that this is going to be able to do possible turns that this we might get. Okay, very good and excellent. Now, this should do the trick and this is going to be able to take follow-up directions on the blue glimpse that this one might come in for. That will might be helpful that this is going to be able to take plenty more turns that this is going to be able to have everything going on for. Okay, that should do it. Everything is going to be very rough and very challenging that this is going to be able to stay on it. Okay, just hang in there and it looks like flat flat practice is definitely almost done by now. This should probably be able to do better, folks. Always having a good clean race to be able to look out for any tough obstacles during the race that this is going to be very tougher that we should probably be prepared. All right, it's all done. Now it's time to be prepared for a match. This is gonna be able to take moments and then this is gonna be able to do a lot of better turns that this is gonna be able to take. So we have to make sure that the first turn is pretty tough 
So we'll have to make sure we might be able to have the double cones that this is going to be might need to have it on for. Well, luckily, this is going to be very tough race that we just we just definitely might be prepared for one challenging event that this will might coming up on this round that this will might goes better. So looks like getting a little bit last place that this is definitely doing better, but needs to have a lot of work that that we should definitely get. So looks like this is going to be very interesting that this is going to be able to do a lot more better turns that this one might be able to keep up. So I hope that this is going to be able to have to give one advanced challenging strategies while racing on real course B on Sardigna in reverse. Well, I hope that this is going to be very challenging and intense. So let's just going to be able to get ready. All right, let's just gonna be prepared for a good warm up time and then let's get ready. And then this is gonna be able to have a minute, two minute warm up time. So this is gonna be able to have to do better. All right, let's spread out. Let's go. Good to see you again, Roadhog too. So let's get ready for one tough race and let's get ready to have a, a racing survival tip that this is going to be able to do better so it'll make sure that this is going to be able to take the inside turns it is going to be very intense but collision might come to occur so we have to make sure that we should be very careful not to do any spin outs that this is definitely pretty hard that we should probably be able to be very careful so it will be safer that this is going to be able to do a lot more speed to get better but luckily the penalty is definitely also occur. So we have to make sure we have to be able to keep up and keep going for a better speed time that this is gonna be pretty hard to get. So it should be able to do better that this is definitely might have very good ways to have an inside turn that this is definitely might be able to keep coming better. Okay, just keep checking and then this is going to be able to get everything work perfectly so this is going to be able to do a little bit better that we should probably be able to stay safe on this race but sometimes any position that matters because it gets pretty hard to be able to catch up all right looks like one one lap warm-up is definitely all done and now Let's get ready for a qualifying time that we should probably be prepared for anything. This could get pretty harder to get. Okay, so giving a little bit check on the first turn. So it should probably be able to do better. So we might be able to be very careful because the harder it gets, the harder it will might have to keep it hold because that will be pretty much difficult that we need to be able to endure. Okay, let's just kind of wait until let's just go and get started for a 10 minute qualifier time. Let's just do it. And then this is going to be able to have to take the last call to be able to get ready. But I hope that this is going to get pretty tougher to be able to go then. All right, let's let this be a one tough race that this is going to get pretty harder to do downhill and uphill tactics that this is going to be coming in for but luckily the first turn is going to be very difficult so we should definitely might be very careful but it takes a lot of spin outs and penalties that we have to be able to avoid it so we have to make sure this is going to be able to, have to do a nice clean race that this is going to be able to coming in okay coming down and this is going to be able to do safer clean turns, so always going to have to avoid getting struck on the sand trap. That could be slower for any group 4 cars that they just really wanted to be able to place it on for. Now going up on the upper hill section and then this is going to be pretty tougher to be able to get close. Okay, looks like this is going to be pretty challenging. That we just need to be able to learn to stay safe on the tarmac track that this is definitely coming in. All 
All right, here we go. Now, this is definitely might be where I have to give a better straight that this is going to be where I have to take one good chance of a qualifying time that this will might come to occur. Never before that this is going to be where I have to take one good racing strategy on the track that could get pretty tougher that we just definitely might need to be very careful to do it. So, it might be where I have to do a little bit safer tactics that, that, that this will might come up and perform. So, it will might go better and tougher. So. It should be able to get. Okay. Just gonna have to be very exercise caution check that this is gonna be able to going in. This will might be very tougher that this is gonna be able to take inside turns will do safely. Okay, looks like only takes a few moments until this is gonna be able to take a track check and then this is going to be able to do a little bit more tougher bath lap that this is going to be able to coming in but I hope that this is going to be very worked hard that this is going to be very intense to be able to reach up and endure Okay, looks like they're all set up for a qualifying time. Now, this is going to be about to take a minute and 29 seconds that this is going to be very difficult to get. So, looks like the tire and fuel were just definitely turned on and this is going to be able to have everything going. Alright, let's go fast and now let's just going to have to take the chances that this is going to be able to take. Okay. Very good safe turn. Now, going on to the downhill, that this is gonna be very tougher, that this is gonna be able to follow up by the apex, but this is gonna be very intense, that this is gonna be able to work perfectly. Okay, so anything that happens, that this is gonna be able to do new set of a qualifying time that may be lead, leading up onto last place, that this is gonna be even harder to get. But this is going to be able to, have to do pretty much intense turns that this is going to be able to work hard for a faster lap time that this one might get. Okay, just going to have to take that inside turn going in. Just going to make sure that this is going to be able to do a little bit closer speed and then better cornering that this is going to be able to take. Okay, looks like ninth place is definitely might be going in. Okay, looks like this is gonna get better. Now, takes a lot more speed that this is gonna be able to keep up. Keep it going faster and then get everything work better that this is gonna be able to take for it. All right, same time, so Maybe this is going to be what I have to do a lot better that this is going to be able to have a pit stop time to be needed for. Okay, well, total bummer on that turn. Well, it gets harder sometimes, but the first turn is definitely the easy hazard close that this is going to be able to take. Everything is a corner hazard that this is going to be able to be very much careful. So this is going to be where I have to take plenty spare amount of fuel that this should get so it will might be able to work perfectly but it will might get closer but it gets pretty harder sometimes that this is going to be very intense that this is going to be where I have to take every minute and 30 seconds of the lap time that this is going to be very close edge on for. Okay, that should do it, and now let's just gonna have that turn. All right, looks like this is gonna get better than tougher that this is gonna be able to take close edge for giving a good clear pass, so maybe this is gonna be able to take a pit stop time that this might need to have a new set of hard tires that this one might go. Okay, let's head on over to the pits and then this is going to be able to have one hard tire that this is definitely might be ready to produce. So let's just gonna have to wait for my crew. So 
Let's change them up. And spare amount of the fuel that this will be needed, so this will be good to go. Alright, here we go. Looks like this one might work perfectly if anything is possible, but never before that this is going to be ready to do pit stop strategy that this one might have a very good spare chance of a qualifying time that this one might come to occur. So it will might be but have to take better chances to do itself. Okay, it's like this is gonna get very tougher and closer that this should be able to get. Okay, looks like just gonna have to keep it going and now let's just gonna have to try have a little bit more slip swim to be able to take much more speed for a better increase in proof time. Okay, brace turn. This is gonna be where I have to do roughly that this is gonna be able to take. So this is gonna be where I have to take only down for a minute left. So this is gonna be where I have to do a little nick of time that this is gonna be able to get ready. So it gets pretty tougher and better that this is gonna be able to work harder to be able to take plenty more inside turns to get. But I hope that this is gonna be able to do much better turns to be able to keep it going to be able to follow up on the perfect apex on the guideline ports. Now here we go a minute and 30 second lap time that this will might be ready to go so let's do it and let's give this chance to be able to work perfectly to be able to get everything according to a plan. Now, looks like this is going to be able to take plenty more inside turns that this is going to be able to take the tougher corners that this is going to be able to hard to get. So it will might be able to, have to take much pretty downhill skills that this one might go for. Okay, take a little bit much more turns and then this should get pretty easier to be get. Have a little slipstream that this is going to be able to take more speed to be able to increase the acceleration that this should be able to get. Okay, just give it everything for a little track check and then this is going to be good to go. Also, the sand trap is going to be pretty hard that this is going to be able to avoid. All right. Just gonna have to keep pressing on and then do a lot more cornering skills to be able to get everything better. Okay, 10 seconds. Now, this is gonna be able to take a lot of more improved qualifying time that this is gonna be able to get. So it will might be done right about now. That will be able to do better perfectly. So looks like it's all set and ready to go. So right now, 14th place for one tough qualifying time this we might be able to get. So it is going to be pretty tougher and harder that we might be able to be prepared for one tough collision course that this is going to be able to have to race on road track B and reverse on Sardegna. But I hope this is going to be pretty tough or different like any group 3 cars that this is going to be pretty hard to get. So. We just definitely might be able to avoid anything as possible that this is going to be able to take. So, looks like this is going to be one excited race that we just definitely might be able to have to get everything ready up and go. So, I hope that this is going to be safer or tougher race. Well, sometimes it always gets pretty tougher that we might be able to keep up and have plenty of safe turns that we might be able to go better to get so I hope this is going to be quite very perfectly that this is going to be able to take a lot of more speeds to be able to take plenty more catching up distance to be able to make one good improvement at a given time so anyhow well I hope this is going to be quite perfectly that this is going to be able to get ready for one tough race that this is going to be able to have to perform 
So everything is going to be have a lot of skills that this is going to be you have to take downhill and uphill strategy that this is what might need to be able to get ready for one tough race. All right, qualifying's done. And here we go. So everything is going to be able to have racing hard tires for the race. So this will be able to have to take nine laps around on the track. So I hope that this is going to be pretty tougher and pretty challenging for us that we might be able to brace ourselves. One excited accidental ride that we might need to be careful so let's just gonna have a good clean race that this is gonna be able to get started. Well luckily that this will might be able to take a racing survival challenge that this will might be able to be prepared for a brace but it gets harder or gets worse so everything is gonna be able to take much determined choices that it's all about having the good clean skills that this is going to be might need to take but good thing that this is going to be able to do better that this will might be able to start this race so here we go let's get ready to get this started to be able to start the show on the road and going up and hill terrain technical turns will might get better It's round five of the 2019 Manufactured Series on Gran Turismo Sports. So, racing on Sardegna Road Track B in reverse. So here we go and let's get started. So first up is Andre Saab with a Dodge Viper Group 4. Followed by in second place is Shakedown 94 for the Volkswagen Chirelco Group 4. Third place is Shering the Garage with the Sport Mustang Group 4 for the Wolf Style Library. Fourth place is SC Jones C with a white Porsche Cayman GT4 Club Sports. Fifth place is Devil Twitch TB with a Porsche GT4 Cayman Club Sports. Sixth place is Tree Dog L7 with a Subaru WRX. Seventh place is Cody Colson 89186 with a Nissan GTR. Eighth place is Creeping 143 Hades with a Porsche Cayman GT4 Club Sports. Ninth place is Racer Cactus with a BMW M4. 10th place is Jaybird957 with a Ford Mustang. 11th place is Meta Kraken with an Aston Martin V8 Vantage. 12th place is Jay Cutter 74 with a Subaru WRX Group 4. 13th place is myself with a Chevy Corvette C7 with the N Sports Tech Library. 14th place is Roadhog 2 with a CNF Library on the Aston Martin V8 Vantage. 15th place is GTF 6 Dragon's Rule with a Mustang Group 4. 16th place is Scuba Stew with a Lexus RCF Group 4. 17th place is D90JA for the BMW M4. 18th place for the God Below with a Porsche Cayman GT4 Club Sports. And 19th place is Stray Harmsey for the Mercedes Benz SLS AMG Group 4. So this will make no mistake because this race itself is going to get pretty tougher and harder that this will might be prepared for a nine lap race. So here we go, ready for a rolling start to be prepared and this will be a one challenging racing survival of the finish and this is going to be able to, have to take a lot of more speed. So let's have a good race and stay safe. This is going to be very tougher that this is going to be pretty harder that this will might give the moment to spare. But this is going to be a one tough race that we should definitely might be very careful to do it. Now looks like approaching in onto the first turn so this is going to be the hard part that we might be able to take that turn will might go in but it gets tougher and better. Safer turns will call drastic measures that this one might take. Now it's going to be able to do a little bit harder that this is going to be able to take the grid. Will might be able to get everything going on to do it. But this is going to be pretty harder to take a little bit turn to go downhill and then this is going to get 
very possible to be able to try not to hit each other because this is going to be able to take a little bit slower ways to get there. Jaybird 957 definitely closing in and now this is going to be where I have to take the flip screen. Will might be able to go uphill. Will might be easier to be able to take the full skill advantage that this is going to be able to be prepared for one tough closing edge strategy of racing that this is going to be able to take. Now looks like this is going to be come closing in and then come tougher that this is going to be able to take plenty more clean chances to be able to get but this is going to be pretty tougher that this will might make it happen to be necessary to be able to go for it. Okay, take that last part of the turn and then goes on in to be able to make it for the next lap of the race and then this is going to be able to take a lot more speed to be able to catch up on it. Everything is going to be able to take a lot of singular lineup that this will might be able to stay in form. Now it looks like the second lap moving on and then this is going to be able to do better and looks like this is going to get very closer edge that this will might be very careful and looks like Jay Cutter 74 just definitely have mistaken turn for it and then he quicks recovers to be able to get back on track. Now this is going to be pretty tougher that this is going to be able to go. Just make sure this is definitely the downhill hazard zone ladies and gents. This is going to be pretty harder to be able to drive carefully because this is going to be very intense that this will might need to do a lot more speed to get. Now, looks like this is going to be what to take going on on Cody Colson. It definitely might be able to have a penalty mark on the red and this is going to be able to come in to take the effect. Looks like two of them just definitely might be colliding each other to be able to while moving on on it. Okay, stay safe and stay focused that this is going to be able to take. But this is going to get pretty harder that this will might be able to work harder to get. Okay, moving on into 11th place and this is going to be doing okay that this is going to be able to stay safer to get. And then taking on that turn is going to be able to keep pressing on on it. Andre Saab is now in first so he is the only one that he could probably get the head start and now this is going to be able to take the chance for him for only a single Canadian driver to be able to have to support this, his favorite manufacturer. This will might have a good chance to go. Now, looks like this is going to be able to take that next, another turn to go back in and then this will might do safer and better that this will might come closer. Okay, looks like everything going perfectly and then this is going to be able to do a little downhill that this is going to be able to take but this is going to be very rough that this is going to be able to drive carefully to be able to stay slow and stay better that everything is part of a track skill hazard that we should probably be very careful now going uphill and then this is going to be able to take another chance of a turn and then this is going to be able to go all the way in now this is going to be able to take plenty more advantage turns that this will be safer to avoid the sand trap. So it gets pretty harder that this is going to be able to avoid it. Jaybird 957 saves it. So this is going to be continuing on that this is going to be able to take the chance to go on for. Okay, way to kick it, kick it up and now this is going to be able to take a little bit more ways to be able to keep it going. So it looks like the fourth lap is going to be able to get better that this will might be moving on for. Now, looks like things about to get pretty harder to be able to speed up for only a minute under 30 seconds that this is going to be able to take a lot of rush that this will might go in for. It gets harder and better. We just definitely might be able to keep up for a good clean race that this is going to be able to have to get everything well extra up on it. Now, looks like this is going to be safer to go for. Now, this is going to get pretty harder that this is going to be what I have to take downhill. We might be able to keep it up on it. So giving a little bit amount of the fuel left to go after it's 75%, so it will might be able to add the head up over to 50% remaining. And this is going to be able to do a lot of important strategy that this is going to be able to keep coming faster and better that this will might 
have everything well extended in the mount that this one might be able to hold on for. Okay, so looks like this is going to be able to do better. So looks like Medicop Kraken is definitely in ninth place. So he'll be able to keep up and then keep up on the smooth turns that this is going to be able to go faster to be able to go there. But this is going to be able to take smooth turns that this is going to be go all the way. And luckily that this is going to be able to keep up to be able to work up ahead. So it gets pretty harder that this is going to be able to take a lot of speed that this will might go there. So looks like moving on into the fifth lap and this is going to be able to do a little bit harder that this is going to be able to take that first turn. It is going to be very challenging corners that this is going to be able to do the advanced ways to go. But it's extremely difficult on that turn. So it will might come perfectly that this is going to be able to take. Nothing else happened go going on. Whenever there's a yellow flag just called in for, that could be much safer that this is all about racing survival on Sardinia Road Track. This is going to get very perfectly that this will might keep it going. Okay, just going to take this up the hill and now this is going to be very advanced to turn that this is going to be able to take the inside turn that this is going to be able to take. Okay, just getting struck on the sand trap that this one might need to be removed off on it. Okay, that should do it. Now, this is going to get pretty easier and better that this is going to be able to take the distance to be able to get. Okay, looks like only 50% amount of fuel remaining. Now, looks like moving on into the sixth lap and this is going to be able to take a lot of time, only three more to go. Now, this is going to be able to do better that this is going to be able to keep up on it. A three group separate track that this is going to be able to take a lot more better that this is definitely might be able to have a, a three group car have definitely separate that this is going to be able to take. Now, looks like it gets tougher and better, so it's going to be pretty easier that this is going to be able to avoid it for. All right, this is going to be able to take plenty more inside turns to get. It gets pretty difficult that this is going to be able to take a little bit chance for a little bit good race position that this is going to be able to take. Perfect turn and safer on the apex. That should probably be able to do much safety turns that this is going to be able to go. Okay, going up and then this is going to get pretty harder to get. Okay, still going on and then this is going to be able to do quicker ways to be able to take the inside turns for my go in. Well, if anything happens that this is going to be able to do a little bit quicker guess. So it gets pretty tougher and oh, looks like straight, straight down is definitely got hit and then that could get pretty occurred to have a panel, have a yellow flag called in for. So this is going to be much possible that this is going to be able to get. Now, looks like this is going to get pretty fast to be able to press on for. Now, this is going to be very closer that this is going to be able to reach up on it. Now, onto the seventh lap. This is going to get very closer that this is going to be able to keep it close edge. And now, this is going to get pretty safer and better that this will might be able to take the chances that this is going to be able to go on for. Now, looks like this is going to be very excellent that this will might be able to keep up. But this is going to be able to take a lot of downhill skills that this might comes in and keep it going. And looks like this is going to get pretty tougher that this is going to be able to keep it on hold. Now, looks like Etsy Jonesy is now in third place. And now this is going to be able to catch up onto the last remaining two. And this is going to be able to do better ways to keep it going. And now this one might get extra extraordinary handling that this is going to be able to have one racing group expandable that this is going to be able to take now looks like this is going to be able to take plenty more handling turns to going in so this is going to be able to do anything as possible whenever the tire effect is definitely now going to be hard and worn 
because this is going to be able to do a lot better to be able to go for the pit stop for only one time. This type of the method that there will be no turning back at the moment. This is going to be important that this is going to be able to do a lot of more ways to go. All right, on to the eight lap. This will might be make it there, you folks. This will might nearly there because this is all about taking a lot of skills of racing survival that this is going to be able to take. But this is going to be pretty hard that this one might go better and faster, but it gets pretty much tougher that this is going to be able to stay safe during every time in the race on this track. It's going to get pretty harder that this is going to be able to work perfectly to be able to get. All right. That should do it, and now this is going to be about to take a little bit of chances to go. Looks like Jaybird 957 is still trying to keep up on to Meta Kraken. This is going to be one good fierce battle that this is going to be able to keep it up, and there it is. Yellow Flag just called it in for it. That could be able to have to see what's going on to, to check something under investigation. Looks like sixth place driver is Devil Switch TV has definitely got caught up on the spin outs, so it looks like. Looks like this is going to be a three-way showdown that this is going to be able to take until the final lap comes. That could be super brilliant that this is going to be able to take. All right, just going to make it there. So this is going to get plenty of half amount of fuel left remaining. So it looks like we're at the 25% fuel. So this is going to be able to take one more lap. So here we go. Final lap, and this is going to be one last chance of a racing survival. Depends on it, because this is going to be pretty tougher that this is going to be able to get. Okay, looks like this is going to be doing perfectly that this will might keep it going. And then, oh boy, getting a little bit caught up on the grasslands. And now, I finally saved it. That could be very good that this is going to be about to keep a little bit struggle in case of emergency that this will might comes in for now looks like this is going to be about to take plenty more stands to be about to take only gap distance left amount to go so this is going to be able to work perfectly to be able to get andre sap is now definitely might be able to reach up for his winning moment and then that should be his checker flag that this will might go in for the best part and is he waiting something? Well, no idea how he's about to wait for it. So looks like this is definitely surprising. Oh, looks like he's about to wait and then, oh, he, it did. But looks like Andre Sapp just finally won the race. And then this is going to be excellent. That looks like maybe let's just kind of check the race results after this. And oh, looks like Yellow flight just called in and it looks like they just letting us know that this is definitely surprising to see it. All right, looks like finally made it and then finally got ninth place. But that was a very good race. So it looks like Andre Sab have finally won the race by using his Dodge Viper. And looks like this is going to be brilliant to see how, how the others are definitely doing. So it looks like this is going to get better to be able to keep it up on it. So, looks like that was a good game, you guys. Good game. Now, looks like all the results has now definitely in confirmed. So, looks like finally got uh, got it in on ninth place that this is going to be able to do better. Fastest tri driver for Chevrolet. This is definitely might be perfectly to go for it. And this will might go for a little increased effect on the driver rating that this will might works perfectly. Racing skills survival and everything, keep it up. All right, so looks like everything good to have ninth place earnings to get. So looks like that was a very good race, Andre Sab. Congratulations. That was a well done race that this is gonna be able to keep it up on it. So this is definitely might be perfect that this is going to be able to have a uphill downhill tactics that this is going to be able to go on boards opposite, opposite determined saying to go for a little downhill uphill on the track that this is going to be pretty challenging to be able to keep up so looks like that would be quite very excellent that this is going to be able to have a good clean race moment but it gets pretty tougher 
but it will might be we have to stay safe on the track to avoid getting caught up up the track or getting struck slower on the sand that this is going to be pretty tougher to be able to be very careful all right so looks like this is going to be very excellent that all of us did the job well done for a good race but this is very excellent that this is going to be able to have to do much cornering skills to get the better we should improve so looks like round five is finished now let's go and moving on on to round six so this is going to be quite brilliant that this will might goes on for the next track that this should be able to do better so taking a tough challenge is pretty hard on Sardegna real course B so only in reverse that this is pretty tougher like in the forward version so good thing I just finally made it in ninth place so this is definitely might be able to work hard and get better so this should probably be able to do better to be able to keep up on it so takes a lot of downhill uphill strategy that this will might be able to, have to take plenty more inside turns so we just definitely always to be very careful not to get very slow down to be struck by spin out effect that this is definitely might be able to get so it gets pretty harder that staying on the tarmac track that this is definitely might be able to get better well folks glad that you really enjoyed this race thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe to my youtube channel for reaching up a 100 subscriber goal don't forget to leave a like comment and bell for notification uploads and the links on the description down below if you want to see more i'll be seeing you guys next time for continuing on on the manufacturer series on gran turismo sports and i'll see you guys later keep on racing stay cool